All right, so let's take a look at the integration to Jenkins from AppScan Enterprise. Um, so the AppScan Enterprise uh, Jenkins plugin is actually available in uh, Jenkins uh, Marketplace. Um, if you just go to ACL AppScan in the Jenkins uh, Marketplace, you should be able to find uh, the plugin for AppScan Enterprise. Uh, we also have a plugin for AppScan on cloud as well, as you notice here. Um, but today for the demo, we will look at the integration to AppScan uh, Enterprise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to Jenkins and I've already uh, installed the plugin. To install the plugin, you can go over to Manage Jenkins and from the plugins menu, you can actually look for the Jenkins plugin install from there. After you set up the plugin, then you can go over to the credentials section and set up the credentials for AppScan Enterprise. To set up the AppScan Enterprise credential, you will need to basically go over to the REST API and invoke a secret key and a key ID for the login into the AppScan Enterprise server. Once you have created the credential, then you can go over to uh, back to the Jenkins new items and start a new project. And here you can start um, a project Altero J underscore ASC underscore example. We're going to create a freestyle project. And we're going to click OK. Once you have created the project, you can go down to the bottom where it says build. You can add build step. And this is great because now you can create a security test as part of your build process. And you will see here in the menu that there is a run AppScan Enterprise security test. We'll click on this button. And then what you need to do is provide the credential. We'll click on the ASC Jenkins plugin credential that we just created before. And from there, it would log into AppScan Enterprise Authenticate to give us the templates that are in AppScan Enterprise. As you can see, we can scroll through and find all the templates created for AppScan Enterprise, and we can click on the regular scan template. We'll provide a job name. We'll call it Jenkins. Example, scan, V10. And then you're able to select the scan folder that you want to uh, put the scan job into the scan folder. So you'll save it into uh, one of these scan folders. I will save it in the administrative folder, which is my own account. I can also select the application name um, or the application, what we call the application container, and you can store all the vulnerabilities inside of the application container. I do have an Otoro J Jenkins example uh, application created here. I'll select that. After you select the application container, then we'll now select the test policy. The test policy you'll be able to see in the drop down all the test policies included in AppScan Enterprise. And any of the custom test policy that you created will also be in the list right here. So we will select the application only test policy for this demo purpose. And uh, we're also going to provide a starting URL to scan. So we will click on this URL scan which is the Alturo J uh, example here. After that, we will then provide the recorded login um, or the login sequence. You have the option to select the automatic login or else if the login is not required for the application, you can select that option as well. For me, I will go ahead and provide a traffic file for the recorded login. 
to do that, I can go over to the Chrome Activity uh, Browsing Recording. And to, from here, I can basically record the login sequence. So I will click on the Trail Mutual webpage. As soon as I get to the webpage, I will start recording using the Chrome Activity Recorder. And right now, I can step through my authentication into the application. Once I have logged into the application, this will be my recorded sequence as I have looked for the in-session detection of sign-off. I can click the recording button again, and it will stop the recording. And right here, I will save it as a login sequence. With this login sequence is saved as a dask.config file, which is consumable by the Jenkins plugin and as well consumable by the AppScan Enterprise server. All right, so I will now go back to the Jenkins uh, configuration and now I will put in the path of the traffic file that I recorded from Chrome Activity Browser. So this will be my path to the login sequence. Once I have configured the login sequence, then now I have to choose the option of what I want, uh, how I'm going to scan. So for example here, I can do a full automatic scan or I can do, do a test only scan if this is the manual explorer data only. I will go ahead with the full automatic scan. If you do have the manual explorer data ready, then you will apply a US, copy and paste the path here and basically have the option of selecting test only. You can select checkbox for more options. And you can also designate an agent server. If you have more than one agent server that's ready to go, and you can select any one of these app, uh, application scanners. For the app scan scanners, I will select the app scan VM scanner here in this case. And from here, what I'll do is I can add a condition for the build. Okay, so I can actually build a build by adding a condition saying that there is a total of at least one high vulnerability and I can fail the build. I can add as many conditions as I want. So if I want to add a medium one, I can add that as well and add a number to that. So in this in this case, I have completed configuring the AppScan Enterprise um, automated dynamic analysis scanning for the build process within Jenkins. I can go and click apply, and I click save, and then my project is configured. So now, as part of your DevOps environment can now go ahead and build the application. And once you build the application, it will run and build, build the application and run a dynamic analysis scan right after you build. So now we can click on the console output and we can see that it has kicked off the scan and that is has created a dynamic analysis scan job successfully inside of AppScan Enterprise. So now let's switch over to AppScan Enterprise and take a look at if the scan has started. Now that we move over to the AppScan Enterprise scan menu, we now see that the scan job has been kicked off under Peter's Jenkins scan. And it will run a dynamic analysis scan on inside of the AppScan Enterprise server. And there you go. That is how we scan using the Jenkins integration plugin instead of AppScan Enterprise. Additionally, let's move over to the AppScan Enterprise monitor view. As you finish scanning in Jenkins, a typical security analyst can actually go over to the AppScan Enterprise and look at the scan results. By going into the application security management view in AppScan Enterprise, we can look at the application security 
um, RM buildies under the application container. We click on the Churro J Jenkins example application. We're able to see that once the Jenkins scan has completed, all the RM buildies will be available here for the security analysts or developers to look at. You can select one of these vulnerabilities and you will be able to see the details of this particular vulnerability.